Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, a Chuck Fleischman Weston Womp rematch is starting to look like a real possibility. 26 year old Womp says he's seriously considering whether to enter the 3rd Congressional District race, but he says he won't run if the primary is a three person race. Fleischman's also starting to crank up his 2014 re election campaign. His first major Chattanooga fundraiser is Thursday and Senator Bob Corker is expected to be at a Fleischmann fundraiser in Washington later this month. In the meantime, Womp says he hopes to make a decision in the next few weeks. A nine-year-old girl was struck by an SUV in Bradley County Sunday. The accident happened outside a gas station on Spring Place Road after the girl went to the store by herself to buy a drink. She was taken to Erlanger with a broken leg, a bruised kidney, and a scraped head. She's currently in stable condition. Longtime Georgia House Representative Jay Neal is resigning. The Lafayette Republican has been appointed to a Department of Corrections post by Georgia's governor. Neal's represented Walker and Catoosa County since 2004. Now his House seat will see a special election. And longtime Lafayette Mayor Neal Florence is considering jumping in. Two teenagers have been charged with child molestation in Catoosa County. A 17-year-old boy and his 15-year-old girlfriend have been arrested on allegations they inappropriately touched a 7-year-old girl. The girlfriend is being charged as an adult and could face at least 25 years in prison, but her mother says she's innocent. The boy remains in jail on a $20,000 bond. Downtown Chattanooga's Fork and Pie restaurant is closing down. The restaurant opened in June 2012. Owner Mike Robinson blamed the closing on competition and the location, saying there's not enough residences in the area to keep the place busy. Now he plans to switch gears and offer pies and pie fillings at local grocery stores. A kitty catastrophe in South Pittsburgh. The city's mayor wound up in the ER over the weekend after being wounded by her cat Snowball. Jane Dawkins says she was in her recliner when the cat tried to jump up and sank its claws into her legs. She says she couldn't stop the bleeding and took herself to the hospital. Now she's expected to make a full recovery. Finally, a Marion County woman has won a million dollars in the Tennessee Lottery. Laura Pittman purchased the instant win ticket at a store in Whitwell on Halloween night. She picked up her winnings at the lottery headquarters in Nashville on Friday. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 63 degrees. The low tonight will be around 39. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.